Should you hire your friend as your real estate agent? Whoo, that is a tough question. Well, in this week's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the pros and cons of hiring your friend as your real estate agent. And I'm also going to share with you at the end of the video, one myth that you might be thinking is one of those cons. So stick around. Hey everyone, my name is Danae Hewitt and I am your go-to DFW Realtor with Brico Realty Services. On my channel, I talk to you about all the things real estate, contracts, negotiations, what all of this stuff means. And I also go around to different areas here in DFW to show you what type of home you can get for your money. So if any of that interests you, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel because you know, the YouTube algorithm just loves all of those things. But let's get into this week's topic. Hiring your friend as your real estate agent. Yikes. So I have been that realtor that has worked with my friends. My friends have sought me out. They have hired me to help them buy or sell. And on the flip side, I have also been that realtor where my friends did not hire. They chose to go with somebody else. And guess what? I'm still friends with them. Okay, this is just business. I get it. Everyone has their own reasons for not wanting to hire their friend to work with them as their realtor. Well, let's talk about the pros and cons of hiring your friend as your real estate agent. Pro, any real estate agent that you work with, you want to know, like, and trust them. And if this person is your friend, they're probably someone that you know, that you like, and that you trust. So right there, it's already built in. Your real estate agent, you should know, like, and trust them to help you with selling and buying your house. And that's already built in right then and there with your friend. Con, selling and buying a home can be very stressful, very stressful. And maybe you're the type of person that doesn't want to put that stress onto your friend or you act a little bit differently when you're buying and selling a house. You don't know how you're gonna react in situations. Maybe your friend's used to you complaining about your kids. I don't ever do that, but this is totally different. And maybe you may not feel as, as willing to share things with your real estate agent who is your friend when it gets really stressful or really sticky in a situation. So that could definitely be a con that you are not willing to really express your opinions and things like that when you're in the real estate transaction. Pro is this real estate agent who is also your friend is going to work harder for you than any other real estate agent out there. Why? Because they're your friend. They love you and they want the absolute best for you. So they are going to work very hard for you during this transaction to make sure you are getting the most house for your money. All the negotiations are in your best interest and they want to guide you accordingly throughout the transaction. So that is definitely a pro. But on the flip side, a con can be maybe your friend who is your real estate agent might put you on the back burner because, well, they're my friend. They totally understand how busy I am with work, with clients. So that doesn't make any sense, but they, your real estate agent, your friend might do that. They may put you on the back burner, get to you later, get to you at the end of the day because uh, they're just gonna understand. They'll understand how busy I am, but they love me and they know that I will figure it out for them or, you know, or whatever kind of excuses they may be coming up with. So that may be the con that they're so comfortable with you and they just know that you're gonna understand if they don't get back to you right away. That is not how I operate, but a pro tip is that this agent, your realtor, since they know you so well, they may be able to find a house for you that you may not even be thinking about. Maybe it's a diamond in a rough, or maybe it's they're recalling a conversation that they had with you and they go, oh, I went out to this property and maybe that could work for them, even though it's not something that was ever on your radar. Because honestly, that happens all the time in real estate. I'll have clients that come to me that say they want this, this, and this in a house, and they don't buy a house with this, this, or this in it. If your friend is your realtor, they may help find that diamond in the rough for you that you didn't even know that you wanted. One con that people think about is, if this transaction is not going well, if before we list the house or before we're buying a house and it's kind of all those 
preliminary conversations like aren't going well and you may need to fire them, that can get very sticky if you are working with your friend. What is that going to do to your relationship? And I don't have an answer for that because I don't know what your friendship was like beforehand and that may be something that you're not willing to do. I don't know, but that is definitely a con to think about is that if you potentially have to fire your agent, what is that going to do to your friendship? Now here is the myth that I would like to debunk for you that you're probably thinking is going to be one of the cons. You think your real estate agent is going to know all about your finances. Well, guess what? We don't. It is your mortgage lender that is going to know what your salary is, what your debt to income ratio is, how much money is actually in your bank account in the last 60 days. Your mortgage lender is going to be the one that knows all of that. You want to know what I know? I want to know how much house you can afford. And I get that information from your mortgage lender. I don't know how much you is in your bank account. I don't know how much you make. I just need to know how much of a house you are pre-approved for. And I need to know from you, do you want to go that high or do you want to come down a little bit because you don't like those payments? That's it. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to care about. I'm not going to know anything else into your finances because mortgage lenders, they can't reveal some of that information there. It's like illegal for them to reveal some of your personal finances. And I don't know all of that, what is illegal and all of that from them, but they have to be very careful with how they communicate with their real estate agents when it comes to your pre-approval and, and things like that. So, just to make things nice and easy and clean, you let me know that you're pre-approved for $400,000 and then we go house shopping. So hopefully that is a myth that I have helped debunk for you. Look, at the end of the day, whether it's a realtor friend that you are looking to hire or another real estate agent out there that someone else recommended to you, you want to make sure that you're hiring somebody that has experience in the field of real estate and current experience. I don't care what they did two years ago because our market two years ago was very different than our market today. So you want someone that is working full time for you. That is current in today's market. That is great at negotiating and great at communicating. And if that happens to be a good friend of yours, then that might just be the perfect package. Well, I hope this video has helped you make a decision whether or not you're going to hire your friend as your real estate agent, but let me know in the comments below if you did hire your friend and how that worked out for you. And in the meantime, you can go ahead and watch that video right there. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next week.